Well, hello, hello everybody. This is Susan and I'm from Garden Interest and I'm gonna be doing something a little different this morning. What I wanna do is I'm actually gonna show you some of my great deals I found at some sales here in the Cayman Islands. They had a tent sale at a floral shop that is also a celebration um, uh, business. And what they did was they had a tent sale. So I got a few items from there. And also yesterday I went to our one of our local thrift stores and I found a beautiful little ornament and so we uh, put together a couple of things and I got some flowers and stuff uh, from one of our home um, decor place called um, Kirk Home Center and so I'm gonna put all these things together and I'm gonna show you how beautiful of a centerpiece I want to make for my dining table so here we go let me show you the items so I've got my sand in here and I got that off the beach our local beach so we got uh, it's local sand and um, I got this um, from our uh, one of our local stores which is a decorative accent um, sand mixed with you know crushed stones I've got these here which are uh, pebbles rock pebbles and they're they're made out of some glass and rocks and they're really pretty. I thought it was really great because I have my living room dining space with some white accents. These are the finds that I got at the celebration store I was telling you about for the tent sale. Great deal. I got this for like $2.50 and I got this for $0.50. Cents. Awesome. Beautiful, beautiful um, shaped. This is the small one and that is the large size to it. This is what I got from the thrift store here in the Cayman Islands. It's really, really pretty. I thought it was gorgeous. And it picks up um, the white tones, natural tones um, that I have in my living space. This is the flowers that I got, um, artificial flowers. And so what I'm gonna do is put this all together. So let me just do this part first. I'm gonna just take this off because this is all I need. Remove it from the stem. And now I'm going to focus on putting some sand in the main large base. I'm using something different from a normal scoop. And I'm just going to put it more around the edges. Because I want to put the smaller glass in the center and I don't want I don't want to elevate it um, when I'm putting it in too much so just start it that way and I think before I put this in I'm going to put some sand in here as well so I'm going to have some sand in here it's going to be a little more trickier getting that in there hold on I'm going to need maybe two, or, two or three more scoops of that in this to where I want it. I'm trying to just build it up to like halfway in this. So we'll give it the look that I want. Yeah, I think one more scoop will do. I'm trying my best not to make too much mess. <laughs> Projects like these can be messy, so don't worry about it. It's just a little clean up afterwards. All right, so just compact that a little bit. And I'll put this here in the center, like that. And then I'm going to try and bring this around a bit, just to give it the sandy look. This, the whole concept of using the sand is, as you notice, the flowers are, are stalk white or chalk white, as some people may say. And if you know this, the statue has an off-white tone with some 
underlay soft white coming out of it so i want to i want to contrast those uh, together when i put them in so the next step is i want to put some of the sand uh rocks it's really beautiful look at that guys it's shiny it's really pretty so i want to have this from another project as you may have seen in one of my videos that i did some succulents for my back porch and i used some of this as part of um the finishing touch so i want to do the same thing for inside here just in the center here i'm i'm only putting it in this portion because i want to put the rocks more down here and just a few up here and you'll see why i'm doing it this way now i'm going to cut this off to the fun part we're almost there if you notice this kind of goes like this so it's going to be pretty close against the centerpiece center glass and what's in there so i'm going to use these because i have three and i want to actually put them in so that they form like that just a, a, a simple way of just resting and really get some sand. The sand is scraping my table. Okay, there we go. Let's put another one here. And then put another one here. And just position flower exactly how you want it and if you notice I have the stems curving this way because I want it to to uh, have a very natural look to it and I've done it in the way that it's in a triangular form okay and now you can actually appreciate from the side you can appreciate the way the layering of the sand the rocks and and what's going to be for the centerpiece there. Okay, so the very last thing I'm going to do, normally I would glue here and attach it to this, but because going, you know, I try to reuse my, my pieces whenever I'm doing decor stuff, so I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to free, freely place the ornament statue on top, and that's the finished product right there. So let me, let me take this back off. So whenever I'm moving it, I'll just simply remove the statue so it don't break. And I'll put that in there and just rest it on top. And if anybody's anyway like me, I love to just rearrange and fix up and change the look of things from time to time. So that's that, guys. Could take you for a look around right here and here, and you can see how beautiful it is. So that's my centerpiece for my dining table, guys. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that 
my creative insp inspires you to do something like this and and it's it's what you like i think it's absolutely beautiful i think it came together really really nice well, thanks again for tuning in to my channel please do if you haven't subscribed as yet and you're new to my channel welcome welcome thank you for watching my video please subscribe please like send me your comments i love ideas if you have other ideas and some things you may like for me to um, show you on videos and creativity. Just let me know and we'll see what we can do to help uh, bring some inspiration in that respect. Thanks again for checking in and please do have a wonderful day. Bye.